Good morning. My name is Arpi Vartanian. I'm the Regional Director for the Armenian Assembly of America, and I am so delighted to introduce you to Emily Ekshian. She is one of our interns this summer on the Armenian Assembly's Summer Internship Program in Armenia. And she's been here since mid-June, and we're gonna talk with her a little bit today so that you can find out what a wonderful person she is. Emily John, you're from California. Yes, Correct? I'm from Pasadena, California. Okay, and you're studying there. What are you studying? So I study at UC Berkeley. I'm studying political economy and media studies. It's a double major and I'm minoring in human rights. Mm -hmm. um, my concentration encompasses international media and international development. Okay, and this summer you've been working actually at two internships. Can you tell us a little bit about them? Yes, definitely. So I am interning at the Path of Law NGO, which is, an, uh, which is a nonprofit organization founded by the former human rights defender of Artsakh. His name is Ruben Madikyan and also Sidon Sahakyan, so they co-founded the organization. And uh, the organization focuses on human rights litigation and cases, so it's been a wonderful experience wonderful international experience um, and I'm also interning at the Armenian Genocide Research Institute. I'm doing my own research and I'm also helping researchers with their studies. Can you tell us a little bit about that research? Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, so my research encompasses um, the 2016 war and ceasefire violation of Azerbaijan inflicted on a uh, the civilians of Artsakh. So a primary aspect of my research is proving that the violation is indeed uh, Azerbaijan's um, responsibility and I'm also incorporating civilian perspective into my research so it's going to be all-encompassing. Excellent. Thanks. Now um, I don't know if all of our viewers know that this uh, internship that you're doing is is three-part. So the first part is gaining international work experience, which we just covered a little bit. The second part is um, also meeting with international, oh, with uh, with leaders in the communities, both here in Armenia and in the Republic of Artsakh. Yes. And the third part is touring around Armenia and Artsakh and gaining a better understanding of uh, the realities today. So you had some interesting meetings, I think. You've had some interesting visits. Um, what do you want to focus on? You've, I know you've enjoyed every moment mm -hmm. of your visit here and your time here, which is unfortunately soon coming to, to an end, but um, tell us about your highlights. So I really enjoyed meeting with the president of Artsakh. His name is Baku Sahakyan. Um, he gave uh, really interesting insights on like his administration and what he plans to do in terms of uh, defense or uh, just domestic and inter like foreign policy. So that was very insightful. I also liked meeting with the um, uh, High Commissioner of Diaspora Affairs, Zara Sinanyan. Uh, his plan to incorporate or to further integrate the diaspora into Armenian politics was uh, very exciting for me because I might come back in the future. We'll see. Well, there's a lot of hope that people like you who are dedicated will come back in the future. And I know Zare is always very energizing and invigorating. And, um, and just so that all of our viewers know, there was kind of like a job offer made for diasporans in general to come here and help the, help the homeland. Mm -hmm. Now, something else that you all did um, as a group to help the homeland um, was you helped build a home mm -hmm. on Friday. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. So uh, we built a home for a family, and um, so uh, before the initial project, the family was living in a two-bedroom mini shack-like home, and so um, my co-interns and I and the Fuller group, we helped um, build a larger home for them. So mm -hmm. we were helping um, with cement work, uh, carrying rocks, helping the main construction workers. So that was very um, awesome to see and very satisfying to yeah. see that our work cultivated into um, something that would help these people get out of their uh, dire situation. Yeah, you truly did help build a home because um, moving out of a temporary domic, as they call them, into a real, real home, 
brick walls. Um, yeah. Brick walls and the flooring that you that we all did. Boy, my muscles still hurt. I gotta say, <laughs> um, but it really you gave a part of yourself. And that family will never, ever forget you. So once again, thank you for all that. Now, you've had some other fun days, too. Tell us about some of your fun um, fun things in Yerevan or in Armenia that you've done. So uh, actually, one of the highlights of like the fun events that my uh, co-interns and I uh, participated in was Vartabad. That was awesome. So that was very yesterday, fun. right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, so we went to all like the main spots, spots in the Gendron, Swan Lake, uh, Gino Moskva, uh, Republic Square, and the entire city. Like it was a, con like I did not envision it to be a countrywide. Like everyone is participating: adults, children, grandparents, mm -hmm. uh, officers, uh, regular like businessmen. Like <laughs> everyone, everyone was involved. <laughs> yeah. So that was so cool. Oh, excellent. It like captured the essence of who we are as Armenians. Yeah. Everyone was together. Yeah. And no one's exempt from getting uh -huh. getting uh, getting uh, water splashed on yeah. them. Okay. So tell me, what what made you decide to apply to the Armenian Assembly Summer Internship Program? So um, it was like mid December, and I was looking for programs abroad. I really wanted an international experience, and I thought like. Um, you know, what's better than helping my homeland? Nothing. <laughs> so <laughs> I, <laughs> I searched the programs and um, Armenian Assembly caught my eye and I decided to apply and it worked out. We are so glad that you yes. did, um, that you did apply and that it's worked out and that you're very happy with it. Um, I know that your supervisors are very happy with yes. you and I'm, I'm so glad that you've gained that international work experience. Thank you. So tell me, what would you say to uh, uh, potential applicants for next year? What would you recommend they do or not do or expect okay. or not expect? Um, so if you have lived to Armenia, <laughs> I um, just want to say it's going to be a very adventurous experience for you. Um, especially if there is a language barrier, do not fret, do not be afraid. <laughs> you can do this. Um, everyone is very accommodating. It's a very accommodating and hospitable culture. So wherever you are, um, someone's going to have a lending hand for you. Um, I also recommend uh, just getting situated with main sites within the city or outside of the city that you'd uh, just want to visit or see. And maybe on a free day, you can go see it. So, excellent, yeah. excellent. You know, um, maybe you recall, when, whenever we have a new group of interns coming in, I always um, say that I hope that Armenia will change them. Mm -hmm. um, do you feel like you've been changed? Definitely, I do. Um, I feel that my uh, vision, my academic and professional vision has become a lot more clearer for me. Um, I know now what spheres I want to focus on, like um, domestic Armenian human rights issues, um, international affairs, so um, this internship really helped me kind of gauge uh, what I want to do later on. Um, and it's, it was also a very humbling experience for me, especially engaging with people that live here and for instance the home we built for, with the Fuller group uh, for the family, that was extremely humbling. Yes. Yes, so Fuller certainly is a humbling experience because you get to see you get to see how just one day of your time really makes a difference and you can you can pitch in. And just like just like with that, every everyone that you meet here in Armenia, you make an impact on them, just as they make an impact on you. So I'm so glad and I know we've talked about this and you've enjoyed all the other meetings that you've had meeting with people on the street at cafes or with the organized meetings um, you've also enjoyed some of the sites that we've visited yes. well which are some of your favorites my favorite sites uh, one of them was Zavot notes I thought that was very beautiful I also liked um, dot have and the cable car ride mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot. yeah the Guinness Book of World <laughs> Records cable yeah. car ride yes and I also liked several sites in Artak. I really liked da Dadiwank and Ganzasad. Mm -hmm. Very majestic sites. Yeah. Yeah. You have to visit if you come to Armenia. Yeah. Some of these sites that we visited are must sees for 
any visitor, mm -hmm. first time, 50th time visitor to Armenia. Cultural historic landmarks yeah. have to see. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to be signing off in a moment. Um, is there anything else that you'd like to add or talk about? Really. Okay, we can always come back and do this again. So for right now, I don't want to say goodbye to you. I want to say Arajam, uh, which means so long. And we'll you know, see you later. Um, Emily, it's really been a pleasure getting to know you this summer and um, a privilege for us to have you as an intern. So thank you so much for all that you've done and all that you're going to do. I see big things in your future. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.